Uh, Chair recognizes Mr. Kassar from Texas. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to begin with a quote. The people of America elected all 435 of us to do the things they expect Congress to do. Real business, not theater. Try to have some type of prescription drug reform legislation this year. But instead, the majority party is conducting baseless impeachment hearings. Who do we think said this quote? Was it Nancy Pelosi? Maybe ranking member Jamie Raskin? Mr. Chairman, you might recognize that quote because you said this in 2019. You said it on the floor of the US House saying impeaching Donald Trump was political theater. Trump was first impeached for attempting to extort a foreign president into helping the Trump presidential campaign. And if you didn't consider that criminal, how about when Trump was impeached trying to overthrow the, res the results of the presidential election and then incited a violent insurrection against the government? So if you thought that impeaching Trump was political theater, then what would you call this? This, this is a disgrace. And I hope that someday top Republican officials will find some integrity. In the case of Trump, because you fear his social media wrath, right-wing officials will deny all evidence against Trump, come hell or high water. But in the case of President Joe Biden, you decided to start the impeaching now and figure out the whole evidence thing later. And you still haven't figured it out. Your own Republican called witnesses today say they don't see the evidence to impeach President Joe Biden. Bunch of stuff about Hunter this, Hunter that, but they've said they don't see the evidence to impeach Joe Biden. That is a disgraceful double standard. It damages our democracy, insults the institution of Congress, and more than anything, disgraces this body in the eyes of the American public. This inquiry is a cynical attempt, attempt to tar everyone, to make everyone look suspect, make everyone look corrupt, so that voters just give up and say, there's not much difference here. But we cannot give up on discerning truth from propaganda. We cannot give up on our collective governance. Congress is a place where historically people of enormous integrity have throughout history taken on big challenges of inequality, injustice, instability. We can and must impartially look at the evidence before us and have equal justice under the law. And the evidence before us shows no wrongdoing by President Biden. We haven't seen that evidence throughout the testimony today. Your own Republican call witnesses have said they haven't seen that kind of evidence. There is separate evidence that supports indictments, unrelated indictments against his son, Hunter, and multiple indictments spanning 91 criminal charges against former President Trump. I, for one, am grateful we have an independent judicial system where a president's son or a former president like Trump can be investigated and prosecuted if they violate the law. It is my firm belief that Hunter and Trump should both face trial and if guilty, be held accountable for the crimes they've been accused of. Can everyone on the Oversight Committee say the same thing? Well, members of the Oversight Committee, please raise your hand if you believe both Hunter and Trump should be held accountable for any of the indictments against them if convicted by a jury of their peers. We can take a minute. No, it's, it's serious. This is a serious matter. If you all need to think about it, we can take a moment and think about it. It is serious. This is very serious. Think the, about it. Should both Hunter and the Trump be held question? accountable? I want to see whether you'd raise your hands. Should Hunter and Trump both be held accountable if they are found guilty on any of their indictments? Raise your hand if you think that equal justice under the law applies and Trump should be held accountable. I think it is worse than embarrassing that Republicans won't raise their hands. They refuse to say that equal justice under the law should apply to everyone. And when you step back and think about then it, what about it's the kind January of scary. 6th defendant? It's Chairman, kind of point scary. Of order. This double standard insults the institutions of Congress that people fought and died to build. This impeachment hearing clearly is not about justice. We cannot say equal justice under the law for everyone except for the guy who holds the leash. I, I'll, I'll, I'll yield the rest of my time to Ranking Member Raskin. Thank you. I think as you were being interrupted by several colleagues, I heard one question posed by the distinguished gentlelady from Georgia who said, what about the January 6th defendants, all of whom had lawyers due process, the presumption of innocence, and they were convicted of various things, including assaulting federal officers and metropolitan 
Police. What about Andy as well as the BLM rioters and point of $2 billion of damage Mr. Raskin, if I can take my time back. Yeah, so you'll we've back. heard, because it wasn't on the microphones, multiple members saying it's wrong that January 6th rioters were convicted by a jury of their peers. That is disturbing. We've started to get used to it, but we can't get used to it. Gentlemen, it's scary. Time has expired.